Let me see. Any any quick comments you can give me about it? as the inventor of the device? How did this idea come to you? I guess. Oh, that's that's a whole video. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but it does use a vortex. It creates a plasma ball, and it is a really unique design. It doesn't have the normal flow through. It seems like the regular engine might. No, we have so far made 197 discoveries that are documentable and replicated. Uh, we have four that have come in in the last week. We have not yet been able to replicate. Uh, these are from different people who have built gates from our plants, and they keep finding new, more and more discoveries in science. So right now we're at the tip of the iceberg, and uh, I'm going to concentrate starting out tomorrow on just writing a book about all the different things. Well, I, there were two things that impressed me about this device. Again, just this kind of an outsider's perspective, I guess. The first one being, you know, with alternative science stuff, it's always, is this thing a real device? And obviously your device runs, it runs great. The second being, in terms of people who might be saying, well, you know, there's a hoax here, it runs a regular engine. Obviously, you've mixed sugar with gasoline, you run it off water, you run it off all sorts of stuff. As long as there's a little bit of fuel there, it runs great. So we can pretty much rule out any kind of strange stuff that people might accuse you of, right? Well, we can also use just water if we wanted to, but that's not politically correct. Yeah. Uh, we can use salt water if we want. Uh, everything is a fuel. If it can be vaporized, it's fuel. And once it's a plasma, it's all a little bit more combustible than normal. Well, it is no longer hydrogen or any normal element that's on the atomic chart. We have a new element here. Mm. It does not explode, it implodes. Almost like, uh, almost sounds reminiscent of the hydrinos. Yes. Some people have compared it to a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Inside, we'll go show you the books in just a minute on all the different things. When you say, well, how do we know this isn't a hoax? Well, if it was a hoax, why would MIT come out, look at this, run back and make one little change? Instead of using the exhaust from the engine, they have an electric heater with a fan behind it, and they got a patent. Hmm. Millions of dollars for R&D by our great government. You know, the strange thing, though, is I haven't heard hide nor hair about this from the government, so if MIT has it, maybe they're sitting on it or something. Well, no, MIT uh, released it about the same time as we had OPEC at our house talking to us. And when they released it publicly in November of 1999, they were attacked by university professors all over Europe who have written letters to the Nobel Prize Committee saying that my wife and I should be nominated for the Nobel well, Prize. Well, again, it's, it's highly demonstrable. Highly demonstrable. That has street cred. But then they turned around and attacked MIT saying, you're a bunch of thieves. That isn't yours. That's Paul Pantone's. You know, I, I heard something similar from Eugene Malove about MIT a while back. Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, a couple weeks before he was murdered, uh, Eugene called me up and gave me the names and phone numbers of a lot of other scientists from MIT that would probably financially back this. But he said the strings are every university wants to have their name on a technology and they want the inventor's name removed. Sure, sure. So he warned me of this ahead of time. Yeah, but you are nonetheless making wonderful progress with it. It's wonderful uh, It's tool. now being taught in Paris. Uh, there's a classroom over there teaching it. Uh, We've had people getting engineering degrees in Europe, but not here. And we're accepted in European universities and not here. Yeah, I, I've heard that also with a number of different technologies. So right now we're gearing up to start worldwide production outside of the United States. Absolutely. Well, again, you're Paul Pantone, and this is the Geet Technology, and you're online at geet, G-E-E-T, dot com. You got it.